But first tonight, the gun violence continues. An eight-year-old girl is hit by a stray bullet after dozens of shots are fired in North Philadelphia. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartelia. Police say a 20-year-old man is also injured. The violence started around North 13th Street, just blocks from Temple University's campus. Eyewitness News reporter Carrie Corrado spoke with students and learned one bullet hit a dorm. Carrie. Jessica Yuki, good evening. Now, police say nearly 50 shots were fired. Now, this was a very large crime scene, and it happened right here in a residential area with dorms across the street. We are told an eight year old girl standing outside of her home was hit by a stray bullet. A double shooting unfolded on North 13th Street Thursday night. When police arrived, they found an eight year old shot. They say the left side of her head was grazed by a stray bullet. She was taken to the trauma unit at Temple Hospital and transferred to St. Christopher's Hospital. We are also told a man was shot in the leg after the vehicle he was in was targeted. He is being treated at Temple Hospital. The shooting unfolded right outside of Temple's campus. One bullet shattered a window of a nearby dorm. Police could be seen inside with flashlights. We spoke to students who said the shot sounded like fireworks. And and they walked outside and realized it was a shooting. Police say this could have been way worse. As unlucky and tragic as this is, we're very fortunate that she was just grazed and she's in stable condition. She was conscious, walking and talking. All I hear is a loud car screech and then I hear gunshots and the glass just breaking. And that's, I was shocked. I thought we heard fireworks from down the street because we live right back here. And um, we thought, like, since the echo, like, it couldn't have been gunshots, but then we got, like, the citizen alert and the TU alert. Commissioner Outlaw also tweeted tonight saying a group of cowards with guns waited on a residential street to open fire on a passing car. She said, by the grace of God, they will recover physically. At last check, both victims are in stable condition. We're live tonight, Carrie Corrado, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you.